Backpack Gold, Level 5, Students' Book, by Mario Herrera and Diane Pinkley. Published by Pearson Longman. Copyright Pearson Education Limited, 2010. CDA. Video pembelajaran ini adalah hak cipta sekolah pendidikan kerjasama cinta budaya tahun 2020. Hello children, how are you doing? Hope that all of you are fine. And today I'm gonna explore a song on page 74 in your textbook. And after that, don't forget to watch a short movie starred by Jenna, Jane and Corey. And also take a look at your reading passage on page 76 and 77 in your textbook. Okay? I hope you guys enjoy the video and start now. Hello, welcome to Backpack. Today's show is about inventions. Let's start by singing this song. It's called, How Do They Do That? How do people think of things like telephones and twine? How do they get such ideas with brains like yours and mine? How did we invent the wheel and was it made of rock? How did people know the time before there was a clock? How do they do that? How can we do that? Come on and put on your thinking cap. How do they do that? How can we do Bars of soap, that man was pretty wise How did someone ever guess hot air balloons would rise? Who invented glasses and then the contact lens? Who came up with crayons or thought of ballpoint pen? How do they do that? How can we do that? Come on and put on your thinking cap How do they Jane and Corey are working on a class project. They have to make a list of useful kitchen inventions. I think it's an easy class project. Let's see how they're doing. I don't understand. I know. This is a very hard project. And this was the only invention in my mum's kitchen. A blender? Corey, no. There are lots of useful inventions in the kitchen. Now I don't understand. Look, there's a clock. It's used to tell time. But it isn't a useful kitchen invention. Yes, it is. You need a clock to cook, to know how long to cook something. The fridge might be an important kitchen invention too. Of course, it's used to keep food cold. And then there's a cooker. Right, it's used to cook food. This is great, now our list is longer. And don't forget this block of post-it notes. What? That isn't a useful kitchen invention. It can't be, it's made of paper. Corey, it's a very useful kitchen invention. Hmm? No it isn't. What's it used for? Oh no, I have to go to the shop for my mum. There you see. It's a really useful kitchen invention. It's perfect for a shopping list. Uh, yes, you're right. It's very useful and it's a really good invention. And now I have to use another invention. What? My bike to go to the shop. Finding all the inventions in your house can be lots of fun. Do you know that simple things like eyeglasses Soap, 
even ice lollies are inventions. That's all for today. See you next time on Backpack. Pages 76 and 77. Activity 4. Listen, look and read. Learn about some interesting inventions. Hot air balloons. The Montgolfier brothers launched the first hot air balloon in 1782. It was made of paper. A year later, the Montgolfier balloon carried its first passengers, a chicken, a sheep and a duck. Hot air balloons are still used to travel, to sightsee and even to race. But today, they're made of cloth or rubber instead of paper and they're certainly not used to transport farm animals. Contact lenses Today, we use contact lenses to see better and some people use them to change their eye colour. The first contact lenses were made of heavy dark glass. Then, in 1948, Kevin Toy made a breakthrough in contact lens technology but his contacts were still thick and stiff. In the 1970s, scientists created the soft plastic lenses that many people wear today. The remote control. You use this plastic device every day to turn the television on and off and to change the channels. But the first remote control wasn't so convenient. It was attached to the television with a big cable. People tripped over the cable, so no one liked this remote. In 1955, Eugene Polly invented a wireless remote. He solved the problem of the big cable, but his remote control had a new problem. It used light to control the television, and it didn't work very well on sunny days. Today's remote controls are much more advanced. In fact, some remotes can control several electronic devices at the same time. Rubber bands. What a useful creation. In 1845, Stephen Perry made the first rubber band. Rubber bands are made of a special kind of elastic rubber. We use rubber bands to hold together papers, books and other things. They have another great use too. If you can't open a jar, wrap a rubber band around the top and then turn. The top will come off straight away.